like a normal wild duck, how he flew, real low, real slow. And I was like, no way. Old Millard, he gone. Yeah, <laughs> what up y'all, welcome back to another one. It's a lovely day out here, oh. Look at this. What do you got going on out here, old beefcake? <laughs> well, what do you got going on here? These look good. Yeah, they look good. Those are uh, the new corn blankets. I laying... think they'll work good. Yeah, going to be laying. So what this is, going to be laying on our back uh, under the decoys. These are for corn fields. You'll pull them up underneath your arms. Oh, you're... Or you can just put them over your face and you can see through them. It beats using a layout blind holy cow you bought enough for all the clients that's for sure you got your pencil in your head in your hat and I've you've been, been working. working i know i've been waiting for the babysitter to get here son so we got a couple things to show you today we got a whole lodge update gerald and i and big shout out to eric from river city sawmill for coming over yesterday and helping what are you puppies doing in here already old jackson we got the ac roaring in here check it out we got, uh, this is everything we got done yesterday. We got this entire wall sheet rocked. We started on the kitchen area. Oh, and look, you started underneath the stairs. And Jackson has a Red Bull can in his mouth. Cool. Looking good, dude. This is sweet. <laughs> Other than that, check it out. That new duck seasoning is available. I'll link it down in the description below. I'm, I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity to do a catch clean cook. I've used it a bunch on burgers and steaks and hot dogs and brats and everything. But check this room out. Here's the locker room. We'll have a bench along this whole wall. We'll have a tall bench over here so you can clean your guns. And then a bench going around this entire wall with lockers. Sheetrock is making it look actually livable. I'm telling you. But other than the duck seasoning and all this new sheet rocking going on, check it out. We got a ton to do. We got 16 footers. We got 14 footers. We got 10 footers. We got eight footers. There's a lot to do. Gerald, he was like, Bob, we're doing the sheet rocking. I do believe we're probably going to get a lot of help on the mudding. I really don't want to mud. I'll mud. You're not mudding. We're getting help, darn it. <laughs> Here at Sand Hill Flyways, we still have availability. We have one date in November that uh, I've been holding for a big group, like six or eight people. So if you have a group of six or eight, I have a November date. The last weekend, the last available date in November is available for a big group. And then we got a couple December dates uh, for two to four people. And then we got some January dates where we can fit anywhere from two people to eight people per date. So get a hold of me on uh, Instagram right here at Sand Hill Flyways or if you're more of a Facebook guy, you can get a hold of old Beefcake Gerald. He runs the uh, Sam Hill Facebook. Let's not bother him right now. He, he's looking busy. But hit him up. If you're a Facebook guy, hit him up. I'll link both Instagram and Sand Hill Flyways, uh, Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 down in the description below. Go hit him up. Old Jackson the shop dog. What are you doing, man? You just enjoying this AC out here? Yeah. Yeah, you miss your Fred too, don't you? You miss your Fred. <laughs> Woo. Thank goodness for AC. Gerald and I has been getting down. Boy, howdy. Nothing but sheetrock. Gerald and I, we're not professionals by no means. We got this uh, insulated. We got this started. We got the hallway started. But check out this room here. It's really coming along. This is what we've been working on a lot today is this bedroom. Check it out. Coming along. All we got to do is this wall here, but we're at a stopping point because of our Wi-Fi. This is where my Wi-Fi comes through. So all of you clients will have, oh, it's turned off. No wonder my phone isn't working. So I gotta find an outlet box that will fit that right there. It'll go up here. This box will be up here on a shelf, out of the way, still giving everybody some good Wi-Fi. But this is the first bedroom with the sheetrock ceiling done look window done this is going to be one of the best bedrooms uh because of this window this window is going to be really nice you can see out back check it out you can see if me and Gerald are back there if fred's running around i'm loving it i'm loving it it's so awesome this is uh this is the return air vent so there'll be a vent here and it'll go back to this interior uh furnace so 
right here again this is where the bunk bed's going to be one of the one and only bunk bed in the whole lodge will be right here i didn't want to have a lot of bunk beds just because i want everybody to have their own bed if you're a grown man it's all right if you're a kid to be on top but if you're two grown men trying to sleep on a bunk bed and one moves and you wake the other one up that ain't cool you know so i'm proud of this room though it's looking really good it's a lot bigger than i had originally planned it's got a lot of room this will have uh, if, let me refresh you guys. This will have a bunk bed, then a twin, and a twin with end tables in between all the beds. So, you'll come right out of here, right into the new bathroom. Check out the new bathroom. I haven't showed you guys this. This is where the sink is going with a mirror and the lights. See, a light. There's the electrical. Toilet right in the middle of this wall. And what this wall is, it'll have a switch for its own light in the shower. Now over here, again, washer, dryer. And then behind us against this wall will be nothing but uh, probably like cabinets and shelves for towels, linens, sheets, all that stuff. I'm really proud though. Uh, Gerald and I, we've been working our butts off the last two days uh, on sheetrock. And I'm sure you guys can imagine, you know, dudes and gals, you know, uh, we're doing this. I'm, I'm trying to save as much money as I can. so. The stuff that Gerald and I can do, we're doing. So, hope you guys are appreciating the lodge build. I know that I'm not showing a lot of the action, but I can't. I can't hold this gargantuan camera and run a drill or a knife or put up sheetrock all at one time. And I don't have a hired editor slash filmer like some others. I just, I can't afford that stuff. The channel's not, it don't, it, believe me, that's expensive. Isn't it beautiful? Just to take a look sit back take a look so awesome yo you get you a little break in did you yeah but it's too freaking hot out it is hot out uh i was just talking out of all the open dates what's the best date that you think there is anything that's left in november right or no early december either one is my favorite time of year to hunt november what what species does it provide most Lessers, mixture of specs, ducks every now and then. Right. Pintail mallard. Yeah, mainly. Pretty much, that's pretty much what we get around here. A right. few widgeon mixed in. If you're going to shoot any ducks, pintail mallard. Yeah. Field hunt, water hunt. Preferably field. <laughs> Preferably field. Not a fan of mud. Right. A ton of you have been like, Bob, are we going to be hunting uh, farm ponds? Are we going to be hunting ducks primarily? And I'm like, look, 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 look. Gerald and I, we're going to chase geese hardcore. And then whenever we can hunt ducks in the water, we will, believe us. But the field hunting here in Kansas, that is the juice, boys and gals. Whew. Well, it is the next day. We got some breaking news. Uh, we got really, really, really good news. Then we got some horrible news. Absolutely horrible. Golly, if it ain't one thing, it's another, I'm telling you. First off, let's start with the good news. Here's the good news right here, the lodge. We're working on it. Not only are we working on it, but we're doing a giveaway. A whole three day hunt for two of you type of giveaway. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been hinting around about it and I finally pulled the trigger. Uh, how you get entered to win the two man hunt giveaway here at Sand Hill Flyways with myself and with Beefcake, Gerald the Beefcake, uh-huh. You can stay here, you can stay in the rooms, you'll be here, you'll be partying with us, hunting with us, petting, loving on old Frederick, oh yeah. One of you will be the winner. Uh, how you get entered, go to my Instagram. You have to do what the rules state. There's three rules, you'll read it right on the post. Uh, the post is a video that I just uploaded yesterday or the day before, you'll see it. Go over there, do what the post says and one of you have the opportunity, and one of you will be chosen to come here for free, all expenses paid, except for transportation and travel. I can't afford that, but I will provide an awesome two-man hunt. Whoever the winner is, you pick whoever you want to come out with you, your dad, your best friend, your brother, your sister, your mama, your grandma, whoever. Get your butt out here and have some fun with us. But like I said, go to Instagram, Go to my Instagram right here, uh, check out the post, read the rules. All you got to do is tag three buddies on it. You got to follow myself and Sand Hill Flyways on Instagram. 
and you gotta share the post on your story. Really easy. We're gonna have a lot of fun here, y'all. And I mean a lot of fun. I'll probably give away one hunt every single season. It has always been my dream to have a lodge and a service to be able to give away hunts to you guys. Before I had this, I wasn't able to. I couldn't just have random people show up at my house and stay the night, you know? Now we can provide the room, uh, the necessities, everything we need for everybody. So it's a big achievement. I'm proud to give it away. I've wanted to give away a hunt for a long time. We're finally doing it. But on to other news, here's the bad news of the day. Yeah, Millard, the Mallard, that boy's gone. I mean gone. So that, let me explain. So uh, I had knew that Millard was a little crazy. He was hard to catch. He'd fly around. My ducks, our farm ducks, they don't fly around at all. They literally graze our entire property and we're able to leave this open. Now, me and Mama, we were leaving it closed with Millard in there because I didn't know if he'd stay around. Yesterday, one of the kids, they opened it up. They're used to it. The kids are used to opening this up and letting the ducks and chickens come out and then they just graze. Well, what happened was, uh, I came back here, the door was open. I was like, oh no. This was yesterday morning. Millard was nowhere to be found. Chickens and ducks, they're all out here grazing just like they normally do enjoying life. All grouped up, all in a herd marching around. Could not find him. I searched, I searched, and I searched. Uh, came about two, three in the afternoon yesterday. I looked out the window and there was Millard. He was marching with all the ducks and chickens. They had finally accepted him as one of themselves. Uh, they had been fighting him and pecking at his face in here for a long time. So we were separating them. We were putting the farm ducks out and leaving Millard in here. They didn't like Millard at the beginning, but then they accepted him. And Millard was literally, I thought it was going to be heaven on earth. He was grazing around, walking everywhere. He was literally up underneath our deck, up at the house, just hanging out with the other guys. So I thought everything was good. I was like, dang, that's awesome. He's integrated. He ain't going nowhere. Well, last night we were doing the dog training video. And uh, I looked up and I've shown you guys some of, not, I probably haven't shown a lot of you guys, but we're on the edge of the property behind the lodge. So this is my neighbor's property. Awesome dude. But over that hill right there, right over that hill, he has a sweet little pond. The reason I know it's there is A, I've seen a ton of ducks spill into it, so I had to go check it out. And B, right when we moved in, old Fred, he would sneak away and go swimming over there and he'd come back all wet. Well, long story short, I was standing right here yesterday after the training. I look over and there's a mallard, like mid tree height, probably only 10 foot off the ground. Comes over here, screams around the pond and then lands down in it, like right beside it. It wasn't like a normal wild duck, how he flew, real low, real slow. And I was like, no way. Old Millard, he gone. For two days later, and that's the last time I had seen Millard. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Um, Millard, yep, the Mallard, he, he came from a farm. He is a full out farm duck. Uh, Charlie actually gave him to us. Charlie, Charlie, the dog trainer, gave him to us. And when I told him he was gone, he was like, oh, did you let him out of the, of the coop? And I'm like, well, the kid's kind of dead. He's like, he's gonna be gone. And I'm like, really? I thought he was farm raised. He's like, he is, but they won't just stay on one property. They'll jump around. He said, he, he probably hasn't went very far. He was like, but no telling if he'll actually come back or not. Uh, first off the pigeons, now Millard. My goodness. I'm not good at this whole farm deal, I guess. Birds. I guess it's time to get some goats. It's time to get, uh, I'm thinking some goats, some baby goats. Plus, maybe some more farm ducks. I really want some geese, some farm geese, because we're gonna be building the pond. Stay tuned, the, the pond build is coming, y'all. I was hoping we'd have old Millard here, but he must uh, he must have not liked us. He, che he done checked out, my goodness. You're not gonna hit it, bub. Do you like daddy's new big truck? You do? That's your big truck, isn't it? Yeah. 
Or is it Mama's no, big? it's yours. It is mine. She's my baby, <laughs> and I love her. Oh, 6.7 liter Cummins. Oh, it's been my dream truck forever. Y'all seen that video, though. But back to the Mallard. What's your thoughts on old Millard? Kind of sad. He was starting to hang out with the rest of the ducks. And they just accepted him. They were just roaming around together. The next thing we know, Bob looks over and he's flying to the pond in the next section here. Yep. He's gone. He's gone. We haven't seen him now how many days? Four. Four days? Has it been four? So. My goodness, I've been working on this lodge too much and done lost track of time. You know why? What? What about him? He chases the ducks. Exactly. And he, that one was like, I'm out. Yeah, he didn't like <laughs> it. The other farm ducks, you know, they're just, they they're, get used to they're and permanent. Just run from him. Right, they're permanent residents. He chases them around a ton. And old Millard, I can guarantee you, that's a good, good statement, Mom. That's true. Old Millard wasn't feeling it. He said, I'm out. There he goes. Mom, you're right. Look, there's a chicken right there chasing it. Look, he goes after him. Bodie, be nice, man. Oh, that farm boy. That mom, you hit it on the head. He chases them around too much and uh he's the duck boy. Look what I just spotted. Look here. Yeah, he's we a got, duck boy. We got sandhill plums. Oh yeah, check in. it out. We got sandhill plums. They're nice and ripe. Look at this. Big old one right here. Ooh, that's a juicy one. Sandhill plum. Oh, that's good, Mama. They're good. They're ready. Woo, they're tart. Sandhill plums. Wait. Thinking about making some jelly. Yeah, they're anybody thick. Anybody know a good recipe for sandhill plums? Yeah, if anybody knows a good recipe for sandhill plums, let us know. But this is why, this whole patch, we got sandhill plums everywhere. And you wonder why it's called Sandhill Flyaway. <laughs> But like I was saying, we are giving away a hunt here at Sandhill Flyways, and uh, we want you. We want you to go enter. Uh, how you enter to win is uh, go to the Instagram post on my Instagram uh, right here, and there's a video. I uploaded a video on there. You got to tag three buddies. You got to share that post on your story, and you have to be following myself and Sandhill Flyways Lodge on Instagram. But we want to thank y'all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell them to hit that notification bell. Or not. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> but until next time. Ooh, look. Looking good, huh? Huh? All this new sheetrock? Wow, yeah. Wow. It's actually looking like a, not just a shop. It's looking livable. Yeah. Looks really good. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that.